What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So earlier on today I said there would be a vote today on the government funding bill and the debt ceiling suspension. Well that vote happened and well the bill was rejected. Yes, this is exactly what I said was going to happen earlier. This is exactly what Democrats knew was going to happen, but they decided to push forward with this bill anyway in the Senate because, well, the House already passed the bill last week. Here's what we know. Right now, okay, if the government shuts down on October 1st, the, the, the deadline for this is Thursday at midnight. Thursday. It's in three days. That's a problem. If the government shuts down, hundreds of thousands of government employees will be temporarily furloughed. We also know about 62% of the CDC, the CDC, okay, 62% is going to be let go until further funding, okay? So here's the problem. During a pandemic, if we shut down the CDC or 62% of the CDC, that could be detrimental to the economy. Here's something else you need to understand. Okay, according to all reports earlier, we knew that the GOP was gonna vote against the government funding bill because the government funding bill was tied to the debt ceiling suspension. Well, here's how this bill was laid out. And I want to address this because according to multiple Republicans, they are not opposed to the overall bill. They're opposed to one provision and that's the debt ceiling increase or suspension. Here's what was supposed to be in the bill, which was actually voted rejected. Okay, the bill didn't pass because it was actually only voted 48 yeses to 50 noes. Yes, 50 noes. Here's how the bill was written. There was gonna be, uh, the government funding was gonna go through December 3rd, 2021. We also know it's gonna include billions of dollars for Afghan refugees, and there's gonna be billions of dollars for the emergency disaster relief. It's about 6.3, 6.4 billion dollars there. And the big thing, this is what the GOP rejected, is that the debt limit suspension through December of 2022. Now, there's been reports that the GOP would consider a, a small increase to the, the deficit, or the, the the current uh, debt ceiling. However, according to recent reports out today that no, the GOP does not support any additional uh, increase to the debt ceiling. They will not do it whatsoever because they say if they do, it pretty much tells Democrats that they're open to just spend whatever they want. And that's not something that Republicans want to do at this time. So according to the GOP, they say they would consider a government funding bill, but they would not consider a government funding bill if it's tied to the, the debt ceiling suspension. And according to Mitch McConnell this morning, he said, and I quote, we will support a clean continuing resolution that will prevent a government shutdown. We will not provide Republican votes for raising the debt limit. I bring this up because if right now Democrats have the ability, they have one more budget reconciliation, they can use it to increase the debt ceiling. The problem is by doing that, they're pretty much pushing aside the $3.5 trillion budget reconciliation bill. This is the social infrastructure bill, free community college, the extension of the child tax credit payments, expanding Medicare, this is vision, dental, and hearing, also lowering the age from 65 down to 60. This is including elder care, Okay, affordable childcare, right? There's a lot of stuff in here. $3.5 trillion worth of additional stimulus. According to uh, d Republicans and according to President, or former President Donald Trump, only 11% of that bill is gonna go to infrastructure. The other 89% is just so social spending, other stimulus that is not needed at this time, according to him. But what I can tell you right now, is that if the $3.5 trillion bill doesn't pass, many experts believe Democrats are going to lose control of the House and the Senate, which means if Republicans hold the majority in the House and the Senate, it's gonna make life difficult for President Biden. This is one of the reasons why many expect President Biden will not actually fulfill his four-year term. Yeah, experts are now telling us that President Biden 
could be one of those presidents that doesn't actually fulfill his four year term. He could simply walk away. Now I don't, I don't know that's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen, but if it does, what according to experts, it would happen because Republicans now hold the majority in the House and the Senate and are making his life difficult. So we'll see what happens there. What I can tell you regarding that $3.5 trillion bill, Democrats are scrambling. At this time, this bill was supposed to be passed. They want to get this bill done by October 1st. That's the goal. Get this passed by October 1st. As of right now, many Democrats don't think this is at all likely. This is going to be pushed into October. Or did I say December 1st? I meant October 1st. If I said December, that was not right. October 1st. Democrats want to get this done as soon as possible, but they have to get the $1.2 trillion bill done as well. But before all that happens, they have to get the government funded. And then if the government's funded, who is going to raise the debt ceiling? Because according to Janet Yellen from the Treasury, the Treasury Secretary, she says, we have to get this done immediately. It's, it's no time to waste. She's not playing a game. This is something that needs to be done immediately. The problem right now is that Democrats are trying to fight over a top line number. Nancy Pelosi said this on Sunday, or actually maybe it was Saturday. She said that we need to figure out where we have common ground and build out from there. I've been saying this for months, and yet Democrats who've been doing this for decades can't figure out the one way to move forward. It's just insane. that we, we pay these people, we, we vote them into these positions, and they can't figure out how to work together. They can't figure out how to do things. They, they knew the debt ceiling uh, was going to become an issue at some point. They knew government funding was going to be an issue, yet they wait till the last minute every single year. It's just crazy how they keep on getting these positions back. I don't know, but let me ask you, are you happy with the way lawmakers are currently fighting both Democrats and Republicans against each other and Democrats against each other as well? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not extremely happy with the way uh, lawmakers are, are pretty much running our country at this point. But what I can tell you right now, progressives are pushing for that $3.5 trillion bill. They do not want to go down at all. Moderates, they want to see something closer to that $1.5 trillion bill. And other Democrats are just trying to figure out which side should I go to? Should I support the $3.5 trillion because that's what you know, President Biden says, that's his Build Back Better Act? Or should I go with the $1.5 trillion bill because, well, that's most likely to pass? They're trying to figure out which way do they go. Well, according to Senator Cory Booker, he says he will push for big and bold measures in the Democratic-led reconciliation bill. And it doesn't matter how big the bill is, he's going to push for the biggest and boldest provisions. Those are his words. And he said this when he was asked about the bill's size. He said, and I quote, if we do a $3 trillion bill, a $2.5 trillion bill, I'm going to push for as big and bold as we can, but it will be a historic investment in America. That was his, those were his words. It doesn't matter the size of the bill now. And this is where things get very interesting. Now, multi, and he isn't the first one to say this. Now Democrats are saying, it doesn't matter the size of the bill, but whatever the size of the bill is, we're gonna put the biggest and boldest pieces of legislation in that bill to make up that three, $2.5 trillion top line number. We're gonna put the biggest and boldest piece of legislation in it. That's the goal, that's the priority. So we still don't know, is Medicare going to be included? We don't know. We still don't know if the child tax credits will be included. Have no clue. Is immigration going to be in there? Again, we don't know. Nobody's telling us what's gonna be in there. But according to multiple reports just this afternoon, one thing will be included. There will be that salt tax is going to be reintroduced. According to multiple reports, House Democrats believe that they have found the deal, that they have a deal that will be in place, and this is going to end, or this is going to be inputted sometime this week. So for some Democrats, they say no salt tax, no deal. Well, that according to reports this afternoon is okay because, well, we have a deal. 
I don't know what the deal is. I don't know exactly what they've been discussing because lately it hasn't been about salt tax, hasn't been about Medicare or immigration. Over the past week, it's been about, are we gonna see the government funded? Are we gonna increase the debt limit? Is the $1.2 trillion bill going to pass or are progressives going to hold out and say, no, we're not gonna vote for this? Well, we failed out an answer there. That's the reason why the House isn't voting on that $1.2 trillion bill today. They're gonna wait until Thursday. Thursday is gonna be a very, very important day because just keep this in mind. The House already voted on the government funding bill. Well, the Senate rejected that today. So whatever the government funding bill is gonna be, the House has to vote again. They have to vote again on this, which means if they want to pass the $1.2 trillion bill by Thursday or actually on Thursday because that's when the vote is going to be, well, they got other things that are extremely important as well that are probably more important keeping the government funded than to go and pass a $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill that we are not gonna see all $1.2 trillion of it for the next five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years. There's a lot of stuff that we're not gonna see. So even though some say this is gonna be good, it could be delayed. So that's what we know right now. Again, just wanted to fill you in on this little update. My guess is there's gonna be a lot more updates, a lot more news coming out tomorrow after lawmakers you know, settle down, consider what their options are. Democrats do not have a lot of options, but the options that they have, they need to work on them now. So as I know more, I promise I'll come back on and fill you in on all the latest news and updates. Again, I just wanna thank you guys for watching. If you could and you enjoyed today's video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. Also consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.